Hello, my name is Isios Lopez, and I am one of the three architecture students working on this project. In the last two years, the community garden called Huerta del Valle has gone from an unused plot of land to a flourishing community garden. For more than 20 years, the plot of land on which the community garden is situated now has remained vacant. Now, the community grows a variety of organic fruits, vegetables, and herbs. For a symbolic price of $10 a year, any willing family can use a plot of land to grow their own food. This way, Huerta is currently feeding 62 families while the rest of the garden grows produce, which is used by local restaurants. The garden is of great importance in the industrial wasteland of Los Angeles, where families don't have access to healthy, affordable, and organic food. About a year ago, a conversation with the garden's director sparked this project. The people of the garden were seeking an educational center to help expand the garden's mission and strengthen the community. Currently, meetings and events are being held in tents under the harsh Ontario sun. We have been working for a year on a vision of the center. In the center, there are four structures. The amphitheater, the library, the shade structure, and the kitchen clubhouse. Each exhibits its own sustainable strategy. The central open gathering space is the amphitheater. It is used by the community for weekly meetings and cultural events. It is made by excavating the site, and part of the soil is retained using recycled tires. The library is constructed out of the remaining soil dug out from the amphitheater. Imagine taking your own soil and using it to construct your own building. This method is called Ramp Earth. It is a natural and beautiful alternative to conventional construction methods. The library is a crucial piece to the community garden. This is where the children of the community are offered support with reading, writing, phonics and vocabulary through the Abejas Literacy Program. The program also offers classes in arts and crafts and teaches the kids how to care for the earth. The shade structure serves as a station for organizing day-to-day -day garden activities. It carries a large solar array powering the whole center, and the excess energy produced is given back to the grid. The kitchen and clubhouse is used to cook and process vegetables. The clubhouse adjacent to the kitchen serves as a place for community members and their kids to hang out and relax. It is made out of used shipping containers arranged into a naturally ventilated structure. To this day, we have submitted the amphitheater and the shade structure to the city and are currently awaiting permits in the next couple of months. This Kickstarter is for the kitchen and playhouse structure. It is made by rearranging the steel from two recycled shipping containers. One container houses the kids' playhouse, while the other contains the kitchen. Heavy canvas curtains keep out the sun and wind as needed. The unused steel forms a shading canopy around the building. And for rougher weather, these panels are closed using winches. And in this form, the structure is transportable and deployable elsewhere. This structure is much more, however. We plan on making the architectural plans and drawings available free of charge, enabling other communities to build a structure like this. Once it is built, a precedent will be set for the environmental architecture of the greater LA area, helping others build sustainably from recycled materials. Your contribution goes straight to the engineering and construction costs of the structure.